so this is the jacket this is the lapel and this is the pocket this is the rose pocket this is it everything is inside so you can dry yours and see how it will come out hi guys you are welcome back to the channel if you are new here you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome today we are coming to sew the female jacket we've cut the freehand jacket already this is my measurement my client's measurement i've ironed my interfacing this is the color this is the piece that we use for the world uh, pocket then this is the sleeve so we'll put those ones aside or that one aside so this is the facing this is the lining so i've ironed my interface I use the medium one the soft stiff sorry this is the main fabric this is the lining and this is the main fabric so let's input the that so this is the back piece we are coming to mark the dart but we will divide it into two so we will leave half inch allowance for the sewing i want a line at the back please listen to it or watch it carefully you understand what i'm doing so this is the half inch that we will sew we just want a line at the back so this is the line so now we we will input uh that so the shoulder to waist is 17. this is it this is the 17 and the that interval will be eight inches so eight divided by two is four then the that because it's a jacket you don't have to do the that big so the that will be one inch or we'll do it one and a half let's do it one and a half so the that is one and a half then we come down by eight inches i hope you are following then we go up by 12 inches because i don't want my client back to fold so you put your line your ruler on it like this and rule a straight line then you connect it like this then you connect it again like this so this is the dart let me rule here then you connect this side to the top like this then you connect it again like this it's a very detailed tutorial so please so if you want to get the same size at the back you put a pin at the that's where you mark so you put the same thing here then you put another one here then you turn it like this so after the turning, you roll your half inch the same that we are sewing everything separately. All the seams will go inside. There is no need for knitting or weaving. So you connect the same thing here like this. So this is the dart that we are doing. We are doing the back piece first. Then we do the front one too. So you connect it to the top the 12 inches then you connect here like this then you connect here to like this so this is it then you put another pin here then you put another one here this is the easiest way to make your that then you put the pin here so when you remove it you can see the pins you can see the pins here so when you turn it the pins will be here the one two three so you just rule the lines then you get it you can see the pins so these are the pins at the back side so we'll just leave it like this then we we rule the 
main fabric on when we finish then we will do the back one and the front like this then this one too will go to the top like this like this so we are done with the that then after that you can remove your pins so let's put this one aside then we mark the lining we are repeating the same process for all the dots like this then you take off your pins and you take off your pins like this so we'll finish with this one so this is how the pockets will look i finish with the pocket <laughs> so this is the pocket this is the outside this is where you put your hand so this is the pocket so the cover is like this i'll do a separate video on how to make this pocket because if i said i'll go little detail the video will be long so this is it you will join the shoulders separate the fabric then you join the lining to separate then you insert in between we'll put the color here then we put the lining on it then we sew it so let me go and iron the lining and, and the color and bring it for us to see so this is the color i finished making the color this is it so you where you've notched is the middle part so you put it at the middle you bring the facing like this so the the color will be in the middle in between so the cloth and the lining will be outside and the lining will be inside i hope i make sense so we are cleaning the color so i've fixed the color this is the color so i will now show the size so this is how it will look after finishing this is the lapel this is how it will look we are sewing everything inside so i will shape the lining separately the main fabric separate then all the things will go inside so let's shape it i'll shape it off camera then i'll bring it for us to see so this is it i finished shaping everything lining separate the main fabric separate so i'll turn it inside i'll flip it over huh so i want to open the back that's why we join the back we'll turn everything here even when we are going to face the sleeve we'll use the sleeve to pass here so we'll have to unsew here a little bit or one so small like maybe four or five inches so that we can use everything to pass through that place then after that we'll sew it back so this is it we are now going to turn it or flip it over to sew everything in so if you don't know how to sew a blazer this is how you sew your your blazer you make sure you iron everything neatly so you open all the seams and iron it neatly or nicely that's how i iron the side the side seam so this is how it will look so as you can see you can see everything is neat so i will take it to the 
table and iron it nicely and bring it for us to do the sleeve then when we finish we we finish we'll fix the sleeve then we are done with our jacket so you can see the jacket this is the jacket everything is inside everything is inside so let me take it to the machine uh, uh, table and iron it and bring it for us to see so we are now going to make the sleeves so you take the main fabric then you take the lining then you sew the bottom part like this then you take the main fabric you take the lining the bottom part so i'll take it to the machine and sew and bring it for us to shape the sleeve this is the sleeve i finished sewing the sleeve you remember when we were cutting we cut both the lining and the sleeve together i mean the same length but i notched about one and a half inch because i want some of the material to go in so that the lining will join it like this so that it will be neat so this is the excess lining that will come to the upper part of the sleeve so you have to trim that one off so you don't need all this so now we we'll get the now we have the now we have the length that we want like this so this is the sleeve length but we won't shape it like this because we are sewing everything in so you open it like this like this then you fold it the fabric right side facing each other then the lining to right side will face each other so now so now we are coming to shape the sleeve so we input the measurements that we want to shape the sleeve the around ham is 16 inches but it's because it's a jacket it's it's not supposed to be tight so we'll make it 17 then the lower part will be 10 inches like this so five so five here five here then the upper part of the lining will be 17 like this so connect the line like this like this then we connect here to to the 17 inches like this so we'll do the same thing to the other sleeve so we'll sew it like this then we turn it over or we flip it over so everything will go inside so let me take it to the machine and sew and bring it for us to see so this is the jacket we are now coming to fix the sleeve so i'm coming to cut the ham hole and fix the sleeve then we are done then i'll make a button holes and fix the buttons then i'll put it on the dress form for us to see so i'm coming to cut the ham hole and fix the sleeve but i'm not fixing the sleeve together with the lining i will sew lining and lining separate then this one the fabric will be separate i will sew everything inside so let me sew it and bring it for us to see so this is the finished look of the jacket i'll fix the sleeves this is how i made it everything is inside so you can see there will be no need for us to do the knitting i will fix a shoulder pad i will use it to pass here this is where i i sew the sleeve from so i'll use the shoulder pad to pass here and fix it then after that i'll sew it like this you sew here you sew it small like the tip at the tip of the seam so that it will look neat so everything will go inside so this is the finished look of the jacket i'll put it on the dress form we'll make a but two button holes it's only two buttons 
So after that, then I'll put it on the dress form for us to see it's a finished look.